Hi guys, um, it's me again, Caleb Gordon. Um, glad to be here with you today. Um, looking at the news of the day, and um, Osama bin Laden has been killed, and this is a great and amazing victory for America. Um, I hope that the folks uh, that were affected directly by 9/11, the the victims' families. And all that fun stuff that is entailed in that, um, all the people that are involved in that, um, that they would be uh, somewhat relieved that the guy who is behind this thing has now been um, taken out. Um, but I, and I, I'm I'm really happy to know that America has prevailed in this thing. Um, the thing that I'm not so overly um, excited about I guess um, we seem to be instead of celebrating for America and celebrating America's victory in this we're celebrating the murder of a man Gr granted I get it I get it that he killed countless tens of thousands of people and he deserved um, what he got no no doubt and I'm not going to argue that fact but I think especially as Christians <laughs> from my perspective and my Christianity I look at it and my heart is burdened um, over this because it's, I never, <laughs> there's no part of me that says, oh, this is incredible. A human being that didn't know Jesus died, yay. There's no part of me that says that that's a great thing. There's no part of me that, that is excited about that. My heart is burdened and my heart hurts. Um, it, 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 it is incredibly, um, saddened by this fact that, that a man who was an enemy of God um, is now in the wrath of God, is experiencing the wrath of God. And the only thing that separates me from Osama bin Laden is the grace of Jesus Christ. Um, Romans 3.23 says, for the, um, we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And Romans 6.23 says, for the wages of sin is what? Is death. So I've sinned, so I deserve to die. I deserve that. I deserve death, and I deserve to die because I've sinned. But the great thing about Romans 6.23 is it doesn't, leave, it doesn't end there. It doesn't just say, for the wages of sin is death, boom, you're done. It's an amazing thing that God has done for me and for you. And the opportunity for um, redemption, for salvation is there. Um, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him would not perish but not would not perish but have everlasting life so in Romans 6:23 says for the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ so we accept that gift God has given that gift freely to us there's nothing we can do to merit that gift or merit that salvation and yet here we are here we are being extended that grace and extended that offer um, and we instead of rejoicing over the just the fact of, of victory for America we seem to be rejoicing in the fact that a man was killed um, and especially a man that's apart from Christ. I don't rejoice in that. I rejoice in the fact that America had a victory. I do not rejoice in the fact that someone died. Never. I will never do that. I'll never have a rejoicing fact that someone has died, um, regardless of what they've done, regardless of where they're at. I wish hell on no one, even Osama bin Laden. I don't wish hell on any human being. I wish that, and, and Jesus has said the same thing. Um, he said that they, he said in the scriptures that he wishes that none would perish that they would come to repentance in fact that verse um, it, it is uh, let me grab it here for you guys it's second Peter uh, 3 9 it says the Lord is not slow t to fulfill his promise as some count slowness but is patient towards you and me he's patient towards you not wishing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. That that's what the Father is, is is striving for us to do, is for us to come to repentance. He doesn't rejoice in Ezekiel. It says it doesn't rejoice. God doesn't rejoice. So if God doesn't rejoice when someone when a pagan dies, I'm sure not going to. I'm going to rejoice in the fact that justice was done because he killed 
countless thousands of lives. He orchestrated those things and he carried those things out, helped carry those things out. I will, I will rejoice in that fact that we've become victorious as America in this thing. But I will not rejoice in the fact that a man who, apart from Christ has died. Um, so I hope that I hope that you guys get that, understand my heart there. Um, we we'll love your comments. So talk to you soon.